Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will solve exercise 31B. So, first one, number one, find the reciprocals of 1 whole 1 by 3, 3 whole 1 by 2, 5 whole 7 by 15, and 5 6 by 4 y. We've already know what is reciprocal from the previous classes. Uh, we've already solved exercise 31A. So, now we'll just solve the problem. So, reciprocal. First one says 1 whole 1 by 3. 1 whole 1 by 3 means actually 3 1 by 3 plus 1 that is 4 by 3. So what will be the reciprocal? Reciprocal will be 3 by 4. Just we have to con we have to just interchange the numerator and denominator. And you know the product of main fraction and the reciprocal one. Main the, uh, product of main fraction and the reciprocal is 1. So next one is 3 whole 1 by 2 that is you know 2 3 is 6 plus 1 that is 7 by 2. Now if I want to convert this one into a uh, reciprocal fraction then that will be 2 by 7. The next one 5 whole 7 by 15 that is you know 15 times 5 that is 75 plus 7 that is 82. So that is you know 15 by 82. Now last problem that is 36 by 4y and that will be you know 4y by 36. Okay, very much easier question. Only find out the reciprocal. Now next problem simplify. Number 2. 3 whole 1 by 3. 3 whole 1 by 3 divided by 2 whole 1 by 2. You know first we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. That is 3 3 is 9 plus 1 that is 10 by 3 divided by 2 to the 4 plus 1 that is 5 then you know 10 by 3 there is a division sign so we've already know that to divide one fraction by a second fraction multiply the first by the reciprocal of the second that means we have to find out the reciprocal of the second fraction so what is this that will be 2 by 5 just interchange numerator and denominator then 10 by 5 will be 2 then you know 2 to the 4 by 3 that will be 1 whole 1 by 3. Now next one number 3. Number 3 says 4 whole 1 by 11 divided by 3 whole 1 by 8. So you know 11 times 4 that is 44. 44 plus 1 that is 45 divided by 8 3 to 24. 24 plus 1 that is 25. Now, 45 by 11, there is a division sign. And we know if we want to divide first fraction by second fraction, then we have to find out the reciprocal of the second one. So that will be 8 by 25. That means we have to divide this 45 by 25 by a common number. That means 5. We can divide this 45 by 5, that is 9. We can divide this 25 by 5, that is 5. So, uh, I think we cannot divide this number by any other number again. So, our answer will be 8, 9, just 72 divided by 5 into 11, that is 55. So, that is our answer. You can convert this one into mixed fraction. Now, number 4. Number 4 says 7 whole 2 by 3 divided by 3 whole 2 by 7. So, first we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper one. So, 3, 7, just 21, 21 plus 2. That is 23 divided by 7, 3 to 21 plus 2, 23. So 23 by 3 and there is a division sign. So we have to use multiplication sign and do the reciprocal of the second fraction. So 7 by 23. So we can divide this 23 by 23. So our answer will be 7 by 3. So you can convert this one into improper uh, mixed fraction. 3 to the 7, 6 plus 1 that is 7. Now number 5. Number 5 says... Number 5 says 4 whole 3 by 8 divided by 1 whole 2 by 5. That means you know 8 4 is 32, 32 plus 3 that is 35 divided by 5 on 5 plus 2 that is 7. That means 35 by 8 multiplied by 5 by 7. So 35 by 7 that is 5. So 5, 5 is 25 by 8. So that will be you know 3, 8 is 24, 3 whole 1 by 8. So 3 whole 1 by 8 will be our answer. 
Now, number six. Number six is two whole five by eleven divided by one whole five by twenty-two. You know, eleven to the twenty-two, twenty-two plus five that is twenty-seven divided by twenty-two times one that is twenty-two plus five twenty-seven. So you know, twenty-seven by eleven multiplied by twenty-two by twenty-seven because we have already know that. To divide one fraction by a second fraction, multiply the first one by the reciprocal of the second. Okay, so we can divide this twenty-seven by twenty-seven. You will get one here because when you divide the same fraction by same number by same number, you will get the result will be only one. We can divide this twenty-two by eleven, so there will be two. So our answer is only two. Now number seven. Number seven says. Three whole five by sixteen divided by seven whole four by seven. You know, sixteen times three that is forty eight. Forty eight plus five that is fifty three. Divided by seven seven jab forty nine plus four that is fifty three also. So fifty three by sixteen times seven by fifty three. We can divide this one by that one. Fifty three by fifty three. Then our answer will be only seven by sixteen. Now, next problem number eight. Number eight says four whole two by eleven, four whole two by eleven divided by seven whole two by three. That means you know eleven times four that is forty four plus two that is forty six divided by three seven jet twenty one plus two that is twenty three. Then we have to divide forty six by eleven times three by twenty three. We can divide this forty six by twenty three, so it will be two. Then three to the six six by eleven. Six by eleven will be our answer. Now number nine. Number nine says three whole eleven by sixteen divided by seven whole three by eight. So first we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper one. So eleven sixteen times three that is forty eight plus eleven that is fifty nine. Okay. Divided by eight seven the fifty six plus three that is fifty nine. Now fifty nine by eleven. We have to do the reciprocal of second one eight by fifty nine. So that will be fifty nine by fifty nine that is one. So that answer will be eight by eleven. So eight by eleven will be the answer of number nine. Now number ten. Number ten says x by three x by three divided by x by four. So we have to do the reciprocal of the second fraction. That means multiplied by four by x. So x by x that is one. Then answer is four by three. That means one whole one by three. Now next problem. Number eleven. Number eleven says one by four y divided by five by y. That means one by four y multiplied by Y by five. That means we can divide this y by y. Then our answer will be one by four times five. That is one by twenty. So our answer is one by twenty. Now number twelve. Number twelve says x square by y divided by x by y square. That means you know x square by y. That means x square by y. That is a division sign, so we can use multiplication sign and do the reciprocal of the that fraction. That is y square by x. So now, what is that thing? That thing actually x square means x times x. Y square means y times y. Y times y. And on denominator, that is only y into x. So we can divide this y by y. We can divide this x by x. So our answer will be only x y. Now number thirteen. Number thirteen says three x square, three x square by y divided by four x by y. So you know three x square divided by y multiplied by y by four x. Now we can divide. We can divide in that way. Three x square means three into x into x. 
there is a y so a de uh, denominator that is so y into 4 into x so now we can divide this y by y we can divide this x by x so our answer will be thrice x by 4 because a numerator that is thrice x a denominator there is only 4 now number 14 number 14 says number 14 says 3 whole 2 by 3 3 whole 2 by 3 times 5 whole 1 by 2 divided by 12 whole 1 by 10 now 3 3 j 9 9 plus 2 that is 11 times 2 5 j 11 2 5 j 10 10 plus 1 that is 11 divided by 10 times 12 that is 120 plus 1 that is 121 now 11 by 3 times 11 by 2 then we have to convert this division sign into multiplication sign by doing the reciprocal of the second one so 10 by 121 now we have to divide we can divide this 121 by 11 that is 11 we can divide this 11 by 11 so and we can divide this 10 by 2 that is 5 so here our answer is 5 by 3 that means 1 whole 2 by 3 so 1 whole 2 by 3 will be our answer of number 14 now number 15 number 15 says 2 whole 1 by 3 times 3 whole 1 by 2 divided by 8 whole 1 by 6 so first we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction that is 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 times 2 3 to 6 plus 1 that is 7 divided by 6 8 to 48 48 plus 1 that is 49 now 7 by 3 times 7 by 2 times that is 6 by 49 now we have to divide we can divide this 49 by 7 that is 7 we can divide this 7 by 7 again we can divide this 6 by 2 that is 3 we can divide this 3 by 3 again so our answer will be only 1 when you divide same number by same number you will get the result will be only 1 now number 16 number 16 says 3 whole 3 by 7 times 5 whole 2 by 5 divided by 1 whole 13 by 35 so 7 3 is 21 21 plus 3 that is 24 times 5 5 is 25 plus 2 that is 27 divided by 35 times 1 35 plus 13 that is 48 now 24 by 7 times 27 by 5 multiplied by 35 by 48 now we have to divide we can divide this 35 by 7 that will give you 5 then 5 by 5 again we can divide this 48 by 24 you will get 2 here so your answer will be 27 by 2 27 by 2 means 13 whole 1 by 2 13 whole 1 by 2 means 27 by 2 now next problem number 17 number 17 says 4 whole 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 whole 2 by 3 divided by 9 whole 9 by 10 now 4 2 ja 8 plus 1 that is 9 multiplied by 3 3 ja 9 plus 2 that is 11 divided by 10 times 9 that is 90 plus 9 99 now 9 by 2 multiplied by 11 by 3 and we've already know that to divide one fraction by a second fraction multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second so we have to do the reciprocal of the second one 10 by 99 now we can divide we can divide this 99 by 11 that is 9 we can divide this 9 by 9 then we can divide this 10 by 2 so that will be 5 so our answer is here 5 by 3 that means 1 whole 2 by 3 now uh, number 18 number 18 says pq by 3 pq by 3 multiplied by qr by 4 divided by pqr by 6 now pq by 3 multiplied by qr by 4 
multiplied by 6 by p q r so you can write this thing in that way to p times q into q into r into 6 that is a 3 into 4 into p into q into r now after writing this you can divide you can divide this r by r you can divide this q by q you can divide this p by p you can divide this 6 by 3 that is 2 you can divide this 4 by 2 so that will be 2 so our answer will be here q by 2 q by 2 will be the answer of number 18 now number 19 number 19 says a by b into 3b by a divided by c by d so now a by b times 3b by a and multiplied by d by c so reciprocal of c by d is d by c now we have to divide so you can divide b by b you can divide a by a so our answer will be 3d by c 3d by c now our last problem of this space our last problem number 20 says number 20 x square y by a x square y divided by a multiplied by y square j divided by b divided by x cube y cube by a b x cube y cube by a b now here x square y by a multiplied by y square z by b here is a division sign so we have already knows that we have already know that to divide one fraction by a second fraction multiply the first by the reciprocal of the second that means divided by a b by a x cube y cube now if i write this thing in that way x square means x into x y y square means y into y there is z into a into b there is a into b into x cube means x into x into x y cube means y into y into y now we have to divide we can divide this x by x x by x we can divide this y by y y by y and that y by that y we can divide this a by a we can divide this b by b now i think our answer will be there is only z by x so our answer is z by x so that is our answer of number 20 so thank you very much for watching the class see you soon allah hafiz